Hello folks and welcome to a wise game video where in today's video I'm going to be covering Wrath of the Lich King Classic. What I'm actually going to be talking about in today's video is five excellent additions that they added in Wrath of the Lich King that we did not have in the Burning Crusade and also Classic Vanilla. Now these were very important implements at the time when they actually came out with the original Wrath of the Lich King. So I'm sure that we're going to be seeing these additions in also classic. Because after all, that's pretty much what made Wrath of the Lich King. And also, it's awesome content. So what I'm going to be covering is five. And three is going to be general. So this is going to work for everybody in the game. And then there's going to be two that's PvP. So with no further ado, let's dive in and give it a look. Okay, number one on our list is more bag space inventory. Now, it's not like the game's going to be giving you more bags or more inventory, but the way that this works, you're going to see why. Basically, looking at this image right here from the Burning Crusade Classic, our currency goes inside of our bags. So, Badge of Justice and Mox of Honor and all that stuff takes up inventory space in our bags. However, in Wrath of the Lich King, they made it now where our currency goes inside of a currency tab next to our character pane. Therefore, not putting this currency no longer in the slots inside of our inventory, freeing up that additional space. Next up is in Wrath of the Lich King, they made getting around a little bit easier. So what are these improvements? Well, for one, they constructed a harbor in Stormwind for the Alliance and then for the Horde players they have a blimp or if you want to call it like an airship or a Zeppelin in the town called Undercity which will take you to Holland Ford which is one of the cities or one of the camps out in Wrath of the Lich King Northrend and the same with the Alliance Harbor they have a ship that will also take you to the same locations in Northrend. And then once you come out to the major capital city in Wrath of the Lich King, which is called Dalaran, they also have quite a few portals that will take you to all the major cities in the game. Now the Burning Crusade also had portals, but they didn't have as many. But then again, now the game is larger. It's got more areas. But in the Burner Crusade in Classic Vanilla, there was no way, except for using your Hearthstone, of getting back to, like, say, Shat City. You would have to look for a Mage Portal. But now with the airship and the ship, even if your Hearthstone happens to be down, there's a way of getting back now to the Northrend areas. Okay, number three on the list now has got to do with PvP. And I think this one you guys are really going to like if you enjoy doing PvP in the game. In Wrath of the Lich King in patch 3.2, they finally made it where Battlegrounds gave experience points. That's right. So if you're somebody who enjoyed doing some Battlegrounds to break up the monotony of doing quests and dungeons all the time, now you also got experience points in Battlegrounds. And you did get points, win or lose. But of course, if you did win, you would get a lot more. And then something that's tied to this that they came out with in Wrath of the Lich King also, is that they have two NPCs, one in each faction's major city. And they are located near the Battlemasters in either city. So again, it would be Stormwind for the Alliance and Orgama for the Horde. Now what these vendors do, or these NPCs, is that they can shut off your experience game. If you're somebody who wants to make a twink and just do battlegrounds on that particular tune, you could start doing that now in Wrath of the Lich King. With the cost of 10 gold. But now keep in mind, if you do this at say level 19, you're going to be stuck at that level 19. And then also keep in mind, because I've tried doing this in the past, is that the only way you're going to get battleground cues to kick in by doing this option is that there's going to be enough players on your server doing the same identical thing. So in other words, if nobody else on your server 
is shutting off their experience, you will not get any cues to kick in for Battleground, so keep that in mind. But then with another 10 gold, you could go back to these NPCs and have the experience turned back on. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about Battlegrounds giving experience points now while we're leveling to level 80. Okay, number four on the list is achievements. Wrath of the Lich King is the first time that they added actual achievement points to the game. And these achievements track everything you do in the game. From PvP, arenas, battlegrounds, to raids, all kinds of dungeons, how much gold you've made, how many times you've died, the highest heal you've done, the highest piece of damage you've done, so on and so forth. And a lot of players really enjoy collecting achievements in the game. It gives them another possibility and another objective. Okay, last on our list, number five, is PvP again, and this has got to do again with Battlegrounds. This is a fantastic change. They did not have this in the Burning Crusade Classic or Vanilla Classic. And what this is now is you don't have to go out of your way to the Battle Masters to queue up now for Battlegrounds. However, Stormwind and Olgamar still has the Battle Masters within that room. There is no need to really go there. So by clicking on the PvP icon in the bottom of your character pane, you're going to have the option now of where the battlegrounds are. You're just going to click on that, click on whichever battleground you want to do, and it even shows or call two arms. But now keep in mind, Wintergrasp is the only battleground in the game that you cannot queue up for here. But it does show here the time left. So you would actually have to go there yourself, or go through the portal in Dalaran if your faction owns the place at that time to be able to access Wintergrasp. But again, you cannot queue up for Wintergrasp using this system. And there we have it, folks. There's my list of five incredible changes that they made in Wrath of the Lich King. But now keep in mind, they didn't come out with all these changes all at the start. They trickled them in during the duration, the two years, of Wrath of the Lich King. So I'm not sure when all these are going to be implemented. But these are fantastic additions that they made to the game in Wrath of the Lich King and I don't see them not carrying through with this for the classic game. And I'm planning on maybe coming out with a part 2 video of another 5 count list. So definitely sub up to follow these awesome videos co coming your way. Ring that bell notification down below. This all helps in supporting the channel. And thanks again for watching Wise Game. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.